In 1960, the U.S. Navy was looking for a way to improve torpedo performance. To do this, they needed a way of studying hydrodynamic, which is basically the study of how liquid and gas flow under certain conditions. If the Navy could achieve this, they could increase the speed of torpedoes and better understand how they move in the water. This would give them an edge on enemy ships and submarines striking before they knew what hit them. But how could they study hydrodynamic? Keep in mind it was 1960 and technology was limited. The Navy was observing Pacific white-sided dolphins and the way they moved through the water was fascinating. An idea was forming and the U.S. Navy Marine Mammal Program, NMMP, was born. To better understand why the Navy was studying hydrodynamic, we first need to better understand what hydrodynamic means and how it affects objects we use every day. Hydrodynamic is the way liquids or gases react as objects move through them. Think of a car and how the air moves around the car as it drives, or how water moves around a rock in the middle of a river. The liquid or gas moves differently depending on the shape of the object it comes in contact with. Today, this is studied by wind or water tunnels that are controlled by using fans or propellers to move the wind or water around the object place in the middle. But why was the Navy using dolphins? By observing the way dolphins move through the water, they could better understand the way water moved around them. The goal was to determine whether dolphins had a sophisticated drag reduction system. The thought process behind this was if they could better understand drag using dolphins, they could in theory use what they learned to decrease drag on torpedoes. But the technology of the day failed to demonstrate that dolphins have any unusual capabilities in helping understanding drag reduction. If the NMMP could not use dolphins to improve torpedo performance, then what could they be used for? In 1962, the animal's intelligence, exceptional diving ability, and trainability led to the foundation of a new research program at Point Mugu, California. The intention was to study the dolphins' senses and capabilities, such as their natural sonar and deep diving physiology. Also to determine how dolphins and sea lions might be used to perform useful tasks, such as searching for and marking objects in the water. This was a major accomplishment as it was discovered that trained dolphins and sea lions could be reliably worked untethered in the open sea. This was going so well that in 1965, a Navy dolphin named Tuffy was allowed to participate in the Sea Lab 2 project off La Jolla, California. Sea Lab 2 was an experimental underwater habitats developed and deployed by the United States Navy during the 1960s. Its purpose was to prove the viability of saturation, diving, and humans living in isolation for extended periods of time. Tuffy would carry tools and messages between the surface and the habitat 200 feet below, completing the first successful mission for the NMMP. In 1967, the NMMP was classified and has since evolved into a major black budget program. A black budget or covert appropriation is a government budget that is allocated for classified or other secret operations of a state. But what is the NMMP's purpose now? The Navy Marine Mammal Program is based in San Diego, California, as part of SSC San Diego. The animals are trained in San Diego Bay, where small boats are used to transport dolphins between their pens and the training areas. The program states that animal activities include protecting ports and Navy assets from swimmer attack, locating and assisting in the recovery of expensive exercise and training targets, and locating potentially dangerous sea mines. There are five marine mammal teams, each trained for a specific type of mission. Each human animal team is known in military jargon by a mark number, MK for short. The five teams are called MK4, MK5, MK6, MK7, and MK8. The MK4, 7, and 8 teams use dolphins. MK5 uses sea lions, and MK6 uses both sea lions and dolphins. These teams can be deployed at 72 hours notice by ship, aircraft, helicopter, and land vehicle to regional conflicts or staging areas around the world. These mammals are trained to serve three main purposes, mine hunting, force protection, and object recovery. But how do dolphins and sea lions do this? Let's start with how their three main tasks work starting with mine hunting. Three of the marine mammal teams are trained to detect enemy sea mines, 
which constitute a major hazard to U.S. Navy ships. MK-4 uses dolphins to detect and mark the location of tethered sea mines floating off the bottom, while MK-7 dolphins are trained to detect and mark the location of mines on the seafloor or buried in sediment. In operations, a dolphin awaits a cue from its handler before starting to search a specific area using its natural echolocation. The dolphin reports back to its handler, giving particular responses to communicate whether a target object is detected. If a mine-like target is detected, the handler sends the dolphin to mark the location of the object by releasing a buoy, so it can be avoided by Navy vessels or neutralized by Navy divers. Now that we understand how mine hunting works, let's talk about the second task force protection. MK-6 uses dolphins and sea lions as sentries to protect harbor installations and ships against unauthorized human swimmers. MK-6 was first operationally deployed with dolphins during the Vietnam War from 1965 to 1975, and in Bahrain from 1986 to 1988. When an enemy diver is detected by a dolphin, the dolphin approaches from behind and bumps a device into the back of the enemy's air tank. This device is attached to a buoy which then explodes, alerting the Navy personnel of the intruder. Sea lions carry a similar device in their mouth, but instead attach it by handcuffing one of the enemy's limbs. The animals depend on their superior underwater senses and swimming ability to defend against counterattacks. Now onto the third and final task of these amazing mammals, object recovery. MK-5 is dedicated to the recovery of test equipment that is fired from ships or dropped from planes into the ocean. The team uses California sea lions to locate and attach recovery hardware to underwater objects such as practice mines. In this role, they can outperform human divers, who are restricted to short working times and limited repeat diving. This team first demonstrated its capabilities when it recovered an ASROC, anti-submarine rocket, from a depth of 180 feet in November 1970. The team is trained in the recovery of dummy victims in a simulated airplane crash. Thanks for watching.